Hey, what's up you guys? So I know you guys have been to the local drugstore or the supermarket and seen those little medical ID bracelets or necklaces hanging from the shelf right next to the old folk glasses and the canes. But there's nothing really new about it. I think since like the 1950s, people have been sporting the medical ID bracelets and necklaces just to denote what sort of allergies or medical conditions they might have. We're about to go over medical ID bracelets and what you need to know. Roll intro. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your man, Dr. James Z, the Fresh Pharmacist. We're speaking about medical ID bracelets, and in actuality, there's a ton of information people like to put on their medical jewelry. But the question is, what information do you really need on there? And oh, since I have you here, don't forget to press that little subscribe button down below. And there's also a little bell right next to it. That way, if you press that one, every time a new video drops, you'll be one of the first to know, you'll also get a notification. So let's talk about a few things you really don't need on your medical ID bracelet. First one is diabetes. Have you guys seen America lately? Yeah, kind of everybody has diabetes. In the case of diabetes, most people tend to present the same whether they're dizzy, showing lightheadedness, if they're feeling faint, or even unconscious. It's actually gonna be one of the first things that the EMT or emergency healthcare providers are gonna check for in case of an emergency. So whether you have diabetes on your medical ID bracelet or not, they're gonna check to see where your sugars are just to see if you have any issues there in the first place. So adding it on your medical ID bracelet, not all that important. And another one, for example, is heart disease. Again, this is America. A lot of people have heart disease. So if you're having a heart attack, or if you're having a stroke or something like that, again, it's something where they're gonna treat you for those symptoms immediately upon the emergency response. Also, all allergies are not important or necessary to put on your medical ID bracelets. A lot of times when people are having anaphylactic reactions or they can't breathe or their throat are closing, Again, they're gonna usually present the same way. Basically, the main things that you wanna put on your medical ID bracelets are things that you might not do well with if that's what the emergency healthcare provider might be trying to treat you with. The first one is gonna be medical conditions or medications that could potentially kill you or render you unconscious, unable to speak to your paramedic or emergency healthcare provider. And in those cases, you're definitely gonna to wanna to write those medications or medical conditions on your medical ID bracelet. Second one is unfortunately a DNR or a do not resuscitate. If you have a DNR or in order not to perform CPR in case of an emergency, well, you should just put that on your medical ID bracelet as well. So in short, here's a quick little recap of things that you might wanna put on your medical jewelry, medical ID bracelet, or your medical necklace. So for example, the first one could be if you're missing certain organs, say for example, a kidney. In case of an emergency, a paramedic or EMT might wanna know if you're missing certain vital organs uh, and see if it might impair how they treat you or not. Secondly is if you have, for example, a seizure disorder. Sometimes they may look like life-threatening emergencies, and a lot of times they may not be. Some people might have multiple seizures throughout the week, and in those cases, they may not need to call 911 or have you rush to emergency with an ambulance. Also, medications that can cause harm, like your blood thinners or beta blockers, things that your emergency healthcare provider might wanna see in case of an emergency. And then lastly, the DNR or do not resuscitate order, in case you're one of those people who do not wanna have any sort of interventions made in case of a life-threatening event. So if you guys wanna order some medical ID bracelets, I do have some Amazon affiliate links down below if you wanna order them and have them delivered to your house with the specific engravings that you really need to have on there in case of an emergency. But wait, 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 there's one more piece. A lot of you guys have been carrying around a medical ID information card in your pocket and you didn't even know it was there. You guys who carry around an iPhone have actually been carrying around a medical ID badge with information pertaining to your conditions, medications, emergency contacts that a lot of healthcare providers would love to have in which they need some more information. Linking together your medical ID bracelet plus your iPhone can actually benefit you in giving your emergency provider the most amount of information in the shortest period of time without having to call different hospitals and pharmacies to see what your conditions or your medical medications that you're on. Let me show you how. So first thing is first, you wanna find your health app in your iPhone, hold it down until you see the mini menu pop up that shows the medical ID button. Once you press that, it'll actually take you into your medical ID so you can set up your profile and put all the information that you need to set up your specifics of your medical conditions. Also, you wanna make sure that the show and lock tab is switched into the on position so that if anyone gets your phone in case of a medical emergency, they'll be able to see all your information even when your phone is locked. After that, you just wanna go through each of the categories, setting up your date of birth, each of your medical conditions. You also wanna put any allergies or reactions, the ones that you couldn't fit on your medical ID bracelet. You can put everything in your iPhone. That way you can have a thorough listing of all of your conditions and allergies. 
You can also scroll down and register to become an organ donor, if that's your thing or not. And lastly, at the bottom, you can sign up to add your emergency contacts. In case of an emergency, your healthcare provider is going to need to know how to access your medical ID information. So in that case, all you have to do is press the left top volume button, and on the right hand side of the phone, the power button at the same time and hold them down together until the medical ID profile tab pops up. Once that pops up, just slide it over, and then you're in. And that's really all there is to it. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I honestly think it works the best when you link the two together, a little bit of the old school and a little bit of the new school to get the most information that can help you out in the long run. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Till the next time, it's your boy, Dr. James Z, the Fresh Pharmacist. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Good.